Hi guys and ladies, John here, welcome back to another Whispers Through the Jump Point. Well, I uh, take a look at my picks for some interesting star sets and news over the past week or so, and also I may well get up to some other things as well. Now last week I was actually uh, off work, so it gave me the opportunity to try something, well, something probably a little bit crazy because um, I was interested to see if it was feasible to actually uh, reach any of the destinations in the Crusader map which is obviously part of the Stanton system by just using Super Cruise mode. So we set out for Comoray 306 and uh, as we can see on uh, my trusty little clock here it's just after 3.30. So I sat back in my chair for the long journey ahead. Now round about an hour and ten minutes later, I started to realise just how big space was. I was certainly getting closer to my uh, destination, but uh, I certainly wasn't going to get there any time soon. So the only thing which actually broke the monotony was the odd quantum ship trowel in the distance. So I did know that someone else was out there with me. Now, around another hour later, I decided to throw the towel in on my effort to get to Comoray 306. I'd not been defeated by the game. Even the server had been stable. I'd been defeated by sheer boredom because space is so big. But it was a very interesting experiment and I'm wondering whether one of those Star Citizen streamers out there could possibly do it. Now it would be a long stream and a very boring stream so he probably wouldn't get many viewers. In the subscriber edition of Reverse the Verse last week technical content director Sean Tracy spoke about the new EVA system and how it compares to the present one in the game at the moment. It, this is a character mm -hmm. and this is the feet of the character and in the middle of the feet is the origin right mm -hmm. we just got zero zero and that's where our origin is but when you're in EVA actually your origin changes your center of mass becomes dynamic which is quite cool um, usually it's around the hips but because it moves around a little bit, um, that makes controlling it really tricky because you've got to have something that is saying, okay, this is my forward direction, which way is forward, which way is up, which way is down, these sort of things. Um, so yeah, um, there's been a lot of great check-ins on it and it feels so many levels better um, than, than it initially felt. So will there be bugs? Probably, but we'll have to, we'll have to cross those bridges when we get there. Why don't we just fake it? Why don't we just fake EVA? Well, that's what we had before, right? It was fake EVA. And, uh, you know, everybody was happy with that. I'm not saying that it was awful. Mm -hmm. um, but visually, okay, visually I thought it was awful. Because here's my problem. Is when you pitch or, or you, you sort of rotate, you were rotating around the feet. Mm -hmm. And, again, you know, we only had some limited free flight. And even in the mini PTU, are you really sitting there staring at a guy doing a lot of EVA? Eh, not so much. But... Let's say you're in a gunfight with a guy, and all of a sudden he presses E, and he starts rotating around like this. It just looks stupid. It, it, it looks fake, and th that's not what we want. And most people would say, okay, how about you just offset that, that, that origin to the hips, and then just rotate around that. Well, that's a little bit tricky, because actually the animation system is assuming that origin is between the feet. So it's better to go change it to an articulated ending, get all these bonuses of actually being a driven ragdoll, um, um, so like, you know, flying into stuff and your arms reacting, your head reacting, and mostly your legs reacting, um, than it was just to continue to fake it, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. um, the other big win that we get out of this is another system that we worked on sort of in concert with the physical EVA, and it's, uh, we, call it, we called it fall and play back in the, the crisis days, uh, but for us it's more like fall and play and fall. Um, so what it means is, and uh, uh, it, the implementation is going to get a little bit bigger, um, as you transition in and out of gravity is kind of our big thing. Um, 
right now how it works is as soon as your pivot comes within some sort of gravity volume, boom, we just drop you down and you land on your feet. Whether or not you were coming in head first, whether or not you were coming back first or anything like this. So what, what I wanted to do with it was basically give you uh, a, a range that, that you would be able to land on your feet essentially. So you know, right now I think we've set it to 20 or 30 degrees. Um, and it's, it, it's like a little cone. Uh, so again, if you consider the, the, the pivot of the character, you can be rotated, you know, yeah, I think it's 30 degrees. Um, you can be rotated sort of 30 degrees uh, forwards, backwards, sideways. You're basically within this cone of, of I can land on my feet. Mm -hmm. um, so when that happens, you transition into zero G, boom, you know, you're able to actually land. But if you come in head first, what do we do, right? Now, we could try to animate, you know, a bunch of different directions, um, but this gets really heavy to maintain. And also, it doesn't really look right. So instead what we do is when you transition into, into gravity, we set you to ragdoll, driven ragdoll. Um, and, well, you technically already are if you're mm -hmm. in zero G, but uh, we kind of take the control away. We put, we put uh, you already have mass, so we put gravity to you. So what will happen is you kind of, you lose control a little bit, um, but if you came in head first, you actually ragdoll, you're under gravity affection, and you will fall, blam. I'll leave a full link in the description and in the video for that really exceptional subscriber edition of Reverse the Verse with Sean Tracy. Now, he goes into great lengths to uh, all the technical challenges and uh, information of the systems which they've got to get into the game throughout the year or so. And with people like Sean Tracy on board, well, I don't think there's going to be too much problem. We've already seen the massive large world map implemented and a local physics grid in the ships for multi-crew, which I think is pretty uh, groundbreaking. Now, there are a lot of things to be done, but uh, we've already got a massive map in Crusader, and uh, that's just nothing to what Star Citizen is going to be in future. Its space is already big, and it's going to get a lot bigger. Now, one of the things which marks Star Citizen apart from other games is the amount of community content, even at a fairly early stage in development. They do so many video shows and uh, so much information. A lot of that is uh, down to um, people um, stomping up some extra money to be subscribers. And there is a new subscriber information page up which lists all the benefits you can get by subscribing. I've been a subscriber for a couple of years now, and for me, it's been well and truly worth it. Now, if you're on the fence about getting Star Citizen, now might be a good time to uh, actually get a package. Okay, there's not a full game yet. It's going to be a while to go before you get the complete full game. But, from the 14th of February... The actual Squadron 42, which will be the single player game, which should be out by the end of the year, and Star Citizen, the massively multiplayer game, are going to be split up into two packages. So in future, you'll have to buy them separate. And if you just want to try out what's available at the moment at this uh, very early alpha stage, um, there is a free flyer week going on at the moment. Well, I believe you can fly a uh, Hornet... Um, Probably an Aurora and a Mustang Delta, I believe. It's well worth having a look. Well, thank you very much for watching once again. And uh, if you've got a spare day or two, why not try yourself reaching one of those destinations in Crusader without using Quantum Drive? Well, until next time, please don't forget to like and subscribe, which will help me a lot. You take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.